Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome to another video reaction of Game of Thrones. We are in episode 7 of season 2. We are uh, halfway through the second season and things have really picked up. We've lost our dragons, they took them from us. I've made my speculations on who the thief might be. Uh, I've made a couple of speculations in the previous reaction, uh, which I'm looking to see how correct or how close I was in any of them or if I was completely wrong but yeah guys let's keep the intro short today and uh, jump right into episode 7 I'm really excited to see who the thief is and if any of my guesses uh, were any close to what is actually going on as always guys make sure you give this video a like it really really helps and subscribe for more content we are close to 200 subscribers might even hit it by the time this video gets uploaded, this is huge to me guys, I really really appreciate it. I can't stress it enough, as I always do. I want to shout out to you guys for sticking around and enjoying the videos. Uh, it really really uh, makes me making them uh, that much more enjoyable. So thank you guys again and without any more wait, let's go straight into the reaction guys. I did not notice any new areas uh, in the intro. So I think that we're pretty set as far as locations go, at least till the end of the season. Oh yeah, it's it's Theon uh, waking up from almost being murdered if uh, she wanted to kill him. It would have been the easiest kill ever. Let a cripple escape. You let him escape. The boy you can't did. walk. So Along with a wildling woman. The one you were fucking. Like an idiot. I was a little boy when I was torn away from my home and brought here. So I kept my word. Okay, Theon, we get it. They, they took you from your I'll home and enough, I won't raised you pretty well, nicely. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Theon's character is going. She can go many different ways, many of which I'm not going to be a particular fan of. Walnuts are very, very Hold nutritious, on. actually. Really sweet giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is uh, Snow and his girlfriend up to? You guys let me know that the actress who plays uh, Igret, am I remembering the name correctly? This girl is actually uh, oh, Jon right. Snow's, yeah. the actor's wife in real life, which is, was a very, very nice detail to know. And you told me they met on Game of Thrones, which makes this even better. What's the matter? Can't be the first time you press your bone against a woman's ass. Well, actually. Don't your stones start to hurt if your bone forgets it? <laughs> Don't call them that. I like your accent. Both. What type of accent is that? Is it like a made-up accent, Both. or is it like actually a type of accent, like in Britain or something? Is it like Scottish? Well, maybe that's just... You think you're better than me, Crow. I'm a free woman. You're a free woman. But I might be your prisoner, but I'm a free woman. If you're my prisoner, you're not a free woman. That's what prisoner means. John Snow's you're right. <laughs> I'm on Snow's so side with this argument. Girl. It was my choice to say the words. You lot came along and just put up a big wall and said it was yours. My father was Ned Stark. I have the blood of the first men. My ancestors lived here, same as yours. Well, that's what you've been told. How accurate so is that us. story, though? Because as we've established, like, these are all, like, folklore. I do believe that the Starks, like, actually have descendants of the first men, are descendants of the first men. But then again, you know, you, you can never be 100% sure. This is a great setting. For as Oof. grim and dark as it is, I really like the, the whole design, for lack of a better word, of, of that area. I don't care if you hang traitor from the Brotherhood without bands. So they've, they've kept talking about the Brotherhood. I don't think we've actually, like, on the show, addressed what the Brotherhood is. I suppose you've been underfed your whole life. I ate it up. I just don't grow. Hmm. I felt like that's genuine. <laughs> what you said. This will be my last war. 
Win or lose. The War of Five Kings, they're calling it. My legacy will be determined in the coming months. Are you, what are you thinking? It's what you pass down to your children. Look at it now. Yep, ruins. A blasted ruin. Do you know what happened? Dragons? Yes. They unchanged the rules. That's why every child alive still knows his name. Aegon and his sisters. Hmm? It wasn't just Aegon riding his dragon. It was Rainey's and Visenya too. Right, Ari, I represent for the woman. Student of history, are you? The mm -hmm. lender woman of the history be raised. I'm sure I knew that when I was a boy. And cute, flowers in her hair. Most girls are idiots. <laughs> you remind me of my daughter. Why did you say that, though? Stop about the senior and her. But I enjoy you, but be careful. Right. Take that back to the kitchen. Eat what you want. Don't get too comfortable, Arya. Girl. No-born girls say, my lord, not my lord. If you're going to pose as a commoner, you should do it properly. You're too smart for your own good. Has anyone told you that? Go on. I don't know. I think you might have made a mess <laughs> halfway through this conversation. Aria, you were doing great. I think you let yourself go a little bit too much and revealed a, a bit too much of your, like, smarts. Okay, this is what I really need to get to. Like, with all the respect to the rest of the storylines, we need the dragons to return to the rightful mother. My word is worth nothing. Danny, we can't afford to lose any allies don't right now. To you under my roof. I don't care where you've been. Okay, I understand that you're upset, Danny, but we need to be a bit smarter with how we navigate uh, this situation because we do need allies. You're currently you and like 50 other people. And you need all the help you can get. Wake up when you want to wake up. The dream. The dream. Walk. I could teach you how to do it. I know how to do it. Do you though, Snow? You know nothing, Snow. That's an iconic line. That's an iconic line, and I did not expect this line to happen during a conversation like this at all but that's an iconic line right i heard of you know nothing Jon snow it was memed to death are we going to hear more of that line are a lot of more people going to tell Jon snow that he knows nothing put him in with the kingslayer for now have your boy watch over them Torun. your grace okay minutes of your time let's listen I've, I have my theory about Talisa, I already explained in the previous episode. So I'm going to be paying close attention to her. And he did first meet her during, after a battle with the Lannister army. It's when she first appeared. I think I found what we're looking for. Really? Send the old man home. Theon, don't do this. Are you ruling Theon or is he ruling the man behind you? Who's the actual king here? Because you seem to be following a lot of orders. Oh, welcome back. He came back. I did say yeah, who yeah. my first person that I, I uh, suspect. But he is also on the list of possible people who could have taken the drugs. I'm just saying. Find her. Doria. That's the girl. She must be dead too. No, she's the one who took the dragons. Why would you assume? Why would you assume that because you can't find her, she's dead? She was there, wasn't she? Who are my people? The Targaryens. 
I only knew one, my brother, and he would have let a thousand men rape me if it had got him the crown. The Dothraki? That was a nasty flashback that she just gave me, but that's what she said verbatim. Ready for my return, they'll wave dragon banners and shout my name. I will. brother believes him, he was a fool. Trust me. And it's you I should trust, Sir Jorah. I don't need trust any longer. I don't want it and I don't have room for it. I'm going to be honest with how many people have betrayed her. And you were too familiar. A hundred percent correct. Because too many people have betrayed her trust so far. Do you even know where they are? We're close. He has no idea. What do you think they'll say when they hear about you and me? You guys are lost. Between you and me. I swear it, old Master King Cross. And I didn't want to want it, but oh, I did. And he spread me legs and ruined me legs. <laughs> That's Scottish, right? Never marry a perfumed lord. What will my poor savage father say? Turn She's giving a performance, though. We were done, but he said, "Turn back around." <laughs> That's how you want Jon Snow. Since it's going to be your word against mine. And that was great. <laughs> that whole monologue was great. Are you that afraid of it? That's enough. Oh, it's nice. He's probably afraid of you. Mm -hmm. Enough. Out of like, out of just simply this conversation, like, I was waiting for this, like, at any moment. Took here long enough. Oh no, the Eskimos are back. I mean, I still trust Jon Snow to take all of them. Ah, the PTSD. Makes sense. Oh, she doesn't want them to find out. It's all right. Give me that. If the queen sees, I can yes. help your children now. Yes. Help me flip it over. Uh, you're not going to be able to hide it forever. Shit. Are they going to kill her? <laughs> You'll say nothing to anyone. Do you understand? You have to kill her though. Wait, you thought you... Wait, no. Did you really think that you did something? Like, In what way? I'm still stuck at her, like, thinking that what she did was enough for her to not tell the queen. Obviously, she's going to tell her. If we've learned anything, everybody tells the queen everything. You're a woman now. Do you have any idea what that means? Joffrey's always been difficult. <laughs> That's putting it <laughs> likely. <laughs> difficult? How about the reigns? I mean, the babies weren't his to begin with, so... I had Grand Meister Pycelle, an army of midwives, and I had my brother. Yeah. When they told Jamie he... I love his grace with all my heart. That's so very touching to hear. You're not fooling her, Sansa. She knows that you don't. Love no one but your children. On that front, a mother has no choice. Shouldn't I love Joffrey, Your Grace? You can try. But it's impossible. Is is Cersei actually giving good advice to Sansa right here? What was that scene? It caught me off guard. That was like legitimate advice by Cersei, wasn't it? She was your mother, and you know. you know we can't trust Cersei ever, but I it felt like that was once, you know? somewhat genuine when? by her again. She has these moments. That was solid the advice. The yes. type of advice that I think your squire had gotten so drunk the night she would have told herself as well. I mean, they already had like a full-blown conversation, and they're going to keep talking as soon as you leave. You were saying? <laughs> I... Never mind. I'll remember it all until I die. 
That was the best day of my life. She's a fanboy. I also had to replace some months quite on short notice. Painter who only used red. That's grim. Can imagine stepping into a dream you've been dreaming for as long as you can remember. And they're saying all this about now, murdering dream, people, by the way. It's more real than your life. But I've been useless at anything else. I'm not well suited for imprisonment. Shocking, I know. Some men are. That's Stark. I imagine he made an excellent prisoner right up until the end. It wasn't possible until now. I was going to say, like, are you? Why would they put him alongside, like, Lannister, uh, the, the, their prized Lannister position? Right. To do one thing. Tell me. You'll have to die. First of all, you're stupid, the guy who just came in there like that, you're dumb. Second of all, I was thinking throughout this whole scene like, wow, we actually have two back-to-back -back Lannister scenes where they actually like appear like normal people. People that you this man must sail like can have a conversation with. And then this happened. Thank God I didn't say it. I was thinking it, but I was still kind of a little, you know, it's still it's, it's still a Lannister, so like there has to be some type of twist in there, and voila. Or did she? Is with her now. Aldrin, I'm begging you. Begging us. It wasn't very long ago you were threatening. Without me, the dragons will die. It will be for the best, Khaleesi. How? I will take you to the house of the Undying, where I have put them. D don't you trust this dude. Targets. When I learned you were coming to our city, I made an arrangement with the King of Karth. <laughs> don't trust him. He procured them for me. Change. I will open Karth to the world, as I have forced it to open itself to me. Your ambition is an inspiration, but like all upstarts, you overreach. Argens often come to control the center, and those in the center make room for them, willingly or otherwise. She will give them her love, and they will thrive by her side. Forever. <laughs> What is happening? What is happening in this episode? Yes, that would be my reaction too. Where will you run to, Daenerys Stormborn? Your dragons wait for you in the house of the Undying. Come see them. What type of nightmare fuel is this? I knew this dude would creep me out the second that he appeared in the previous episode what the hell is happening so they killed all of them what does this mean for Karth is this like another uh, takeover are they taking Karth over so is this part of his plan or did he fail to escape this monster killed my son and crippled mine he will answer for his crimes, I promise you. Yeah, don't equate him. crippling with sake. killing. <laughs> if you try and stop me, you will strike me down. Threatening my lady is an act of treason. treason. Can we please calm down? Hey, sadly, he's not here. Exactly. It's just you, me, and Joffrey, <laughs> the Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. I'm sure you'll make a point eventually. He needs to stop <laughs> acting like a king. <laughs> This war you started is coming to our doorstep. I hate Cersei, but it's funny. The entire city, if we can't control him. Do you think I haven't tried? Boy, has she. He doesn't listen to me. Boy, doesn't he? It's hard to put a leash on a dog. Head. Don't insult dogs like that ever again. Comparing that creature to a dog. 
He looks like him. In a certain light. <laughs> for what we've done. For our sins. Sin. Why are you getting all melodramatic on us, Cersei? Wed brother and sister for hundreds of years, I know. Marcella, are good, decent children, both of them. Why are you trying to make us feel a way for Cersei? I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I don't want to feel like. No, no. You will not break me, Game of Thrones. No. A lot more needs to happen for me to like think of Cersei as anything other than crazy. What if the king massacres the innocent? It's too much. What if you want to sleep with your sister? It's too much. Where did you find this beast? When good old Ned came home with some horse baby, did you pretend to love it? No. Fucked another woman. So I have a feeling that he might get killed. Sword. Are they going to do it? They wouldn't, would I they? Told you what would happen we have at least three more episodes to go. And what would happen if you did not question whether your new lord means what he says? Here is the answer to your question. What? Wait, guys, I'm going to go back to that scene a little bit. I don't I don't think I caught who were those who were the the, the two people that he hanged or whatever he did to them. What am I supposed to they weren't the children. Like, <laughs> should I know who who these poor souls are? Am I supposed to like? <laughs> so one is missing an arm. The other is missing another arm. This ending, ending has me stumped because there's no way it's any of the star kids or is she trying to like act like they are? Is she pretending that those are the kids? I don't know. I don't know guys. Should I know? Am I missing some vital clue? Because usually, like, those endings in Game of Thrones are supposed to, like, give you the oh shit feeling. But, like, who... Like, is she pretending that those two people were the, the kids? That she captured them and, like, burned them and then hung them for whatever reason? Either way, Theon is heading down a path uh, that is pretty unfortunate. Uh, as I said in the previous uh, episode, I still thought that he's, like, a good dude. I just think that he's all the way like going down the wrong wrong path, and like he's going, it's going to lead him like in 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 a situation where he won't be able to like do anything else than continue going down this horrible path, because by that point he'd have created so many enemies that it's going to eventually be his undoing. We did not get many answers in this episode. This felt like more of a setup for episode 8 and then probably episode 9 and beyond for obviously the finale we didn't get many answers uh, that lady wearing the mask told Zora Mormont that the one who took the dragons was there with her it, I said in the previous video that it could have been that fat dude or the these people in general a dude who is always talking about the undying told Khaleesi that she took the dragons then they killed the council and I assume took over Karth 
right? They were talking about a king of Karth. Was Daxos supposed to be the new king of Karth? They murdered the rest. And it's now that freaky looking dude that came out of a horror film. Daxos and like they want Khaleesi. And obviously her dragons, right? That whole thing was like straight out of a horror film. Uh, but I still don't know if he actually has the dragons. That's the thing. Like, he could claim to have the dragons. But does he? Do we know? We can't know for certain. So that's going on uh, with Khaleesi and her babies. I don't know if we can trust uh, Mormont, Zora Mormont either. Too many people have betrayed Khaleesi. And that scene where she said, like, when she t said that she does not trust anybody, like, I felt that. Because so many people have betrayed her trust, as I said. And I already talked about this a little bit. So, yeah, it makes sense. Nobody's trustworthy. But that's going on there. Uh, it'll be very, very interesting to see where that goes. I did say that Galicia is going to rise up the ranks in Karth. I did not expect it to happen in this way. Or be them attempting to do it in that way. But again, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Jon Snow is too good for his own good, as I said. He like just basically let that woman lead him to her people, which is what happened. And I was kind of thinking while watching their scenes, like who is leading who, where in this situation? Because they're both both holding. Well, she wasn't holding. She was. At least John assumed she was tied by that rope while she was ready to escape at any moment. And I feel like she was leading him <laughs> and he was just following her. And that's not a good idea because she knows where she's going and John Snow had zero idea. He had him all confused with all that sex talk. He had him second guessing his, his oath <laughs> and led him to a trap. Now. Assuming that Jon and her are going to end up together, I don't particularly worry about Jon Snow's situation. And as I said, like, I'm not worried about Jon Snow when it comes to a fight. He's going to beat all of you up. Like, you, you don't stand a chance. It's just that he's too good for his own good and he let himself get in that situation. Which he's going to get out of. Because you can't beat Jon Snow in a fight. So... But... Like, I'm, I'm guessing Jon Snow is going to, like, what's going to happen? He's been, he's completely lost. Like, he's lo he lost his crew, right? And now he's with the wildlings. Is he going to, like, join the wildlings? Is he, like, going to be part of the kingdom started by the, the man who fled the Night's Watch? Are they going to convince him that their side of the, of the war is more noble? That will be interesting to see what happens. At King's Landing, we have Sansa, unfortunately, getting uh, ready to... <sighs> I can't even like imagine it or talk about it because it's horrible. But to bear Joffrey's children. On the bright side... It's not incest, but like if you think about it, it kind of breaks the Lannister ancestral tree a little bit. Maybe Joffrey's children won't be complete monsters. Just imagining Sansa having to like oof, push all a fear that the girl that the other girl threatened to not warn the queen now she, the girl who threatened the girl is going to be in trouble because they're obviously going, she's obviously going to inform the queen of that and the queen is going to know not to trust her and then upon some further digging might even find out that she is with Tyrion and as she foreshadowed she would love nothing more 
than to take Tyrion's love away from him. So I already see that arc is going to happen, like Cersei is going to kill that girl or someone related to Cersei is going to kill that girl, I can already see it happening. They gave us a couple of scenes with Cersei and Jaime in this episode, well not Jaime really, but like with Cersei a couple of scenes where she seemed like somewhat human. Then they try to do like the same with Jamie, but then completely like turned it on us and basically kind of reaffirmed like what I always thought of Cersei and Jamie. They're like psychopaths. So, like, one minute they could be having a heartfelt conversation with you, or at least what would seem like a heartfelt conversation, and then just murder you. If that didn't perfectly encapsulate. Those two, I don't know what would. That scene with uh, with Jamie perfectly encapsulated the Lannisters. They are psychos, psychotic, crazy. Like you can't like psychoanalyze them. That scene happened, and he killed that poor kid, and now he has the kingdom in the kingdom. Well, in a sense, they're not really a kingdom, but like he has the opposing side, the Stark side, in turmoil. Rob is not there, he left with Talisa, who I will be keeping a close eye on, we did not get any further uh, too much uh, information about her uh, to either like lead me towards either direction, is she a spy, is she not a spy, we still don't, we still wouldn't be able to know. That scene at the end with Kathleen and Jamie did give me a slight pause, like are they going to kill Jamie off right here? Usually when a character, a main character, is brutalized in, in such a way as Jamie is at this point, usually they're nearing the end of their run. A similar thing happened to Ned. He was brutalized for most of season 1 and then eventually got killed. Uh, is Jamie going to follow a similar arc but on the opposite side? That will be interesting to see. I don't think it would be crazy for them to kill Jamie at some point during the season. It can happen. It will only fuel Cersei's like craziness and like hatred for the Starks even more. And that would like put Sansa in all types of horrible scenarios. So I hope Catelyn does not act carelessly. But I do have a fear of what could happen. What else? We have not seen Stannis. And that whole demon child since Tawin and Arya, uh, at least superficially, have been getting close. Arya talked a little bit too much in that scene, said a, a bit too much, revealed a bit too much. The more you talk, like somebody who is smart, like Tawin, the, the easier will, they will be, it will make it easier for them. To understand if you're lying or not about certain things because the more you talk the more possible it is for you to slip up on some of the lies that you've told previously as it happened just with the way that she was talking using certain uh, certain uh, words wrong according to like where she was from then her status like it all got a little bit too like Tawin could could kind of see through that. I don't know to what degree, but I don't think he knows that she's Arya Stark yet. I don't know. He might. He could be knowing this whole time and just like have some other things, some other plans in mind. Now that I'm thinking about it, because Baelish could have told him. Although I don't think Baelish would tell him, even if he knew. But then again, he might have told him. So. Tawin might be aware of this of it this whole time. But yeah, we can't know for sure. I guess we'll have to find out. And uh, yeah, these are my thoughts for this episode. Compared to the previous episode, although this episode also had its moments. Like what happened at Karth and Jamie's murder of that squire were all pretty like intense. But for the most part it was another episode setting up things that we'll be having to deal with in upcoming episodes but it was a really good episode I really enjoyed the Cersei scenes 
ironically, and I enjoyed, enjoyed Jamie as well in this episode. I did enjoy the Lannisters in this episode. I can enjoy the Lannisters as long as Joffrey is not involved. They are enjoyable in their fucked up way. I can have like a good time in an episode with the Lannisters. They're still monsters, but like they're entertaining monsters. As always, guys, thank you for joining me uh, for another reaction, and I will see you all in episode eight. Like, subscribe. We're so close to 200, guys. So, like, if you haven't subscribed, but you're enjoying the videos, do it. It it really helps the channel. So yeah, I'll see you all in episode eight. Bye.